might need your tips and tricks. So let me know that down below. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my May Boxy Charm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box. I've tried out the goodies inside and I've got some thoughts on them. So I'm gonna run through the different products and let you know what I'm thinking about it. So let's get to it. So the theme this month is Makeup is Art. I love that card. I think that's so pretty and it's so true. Makeup really is art. I love that about makeup. Like it's a very creative outlet. So the first two products in here are brow related. So the first one is a brow brush by Brow Gal and it's retail price of $14. It says this double ended brow brush was designed to allow for precision and creating hair like strokes while filling in the brows. And then there is a convertible brow palette, I guess you would say it is. And I have it in 02, it's by The Brow Gal, again. It's a retail price of $35. It says the convertible brow is a powder pomade duo that acts as a powder when used dry and a pomade when used wet to fill in and apply color and definition to the brows. Each compact has a warm, neutral, and ash tone to allow you to mix your perfect custom color. If used wet, the palette will revert back to powder consistency, ensuring the product does not dry out. Um, let's see the little pro tip. It says using the brow, using the brush on your dual-ended eyebrow brush, comb eyebrow hairs upward. Once groomed, dip the brush end into the desired color and outline the arch of your brows. We recommend using the most product at the arch and the least amount of product at the beginning of the brow. Once filled to perfection, brush your brow out for a flawless, natural looking finish. Okay, so I used this today or I started to use it today. Um, and there really isn't like a perfect color in here for me, which is kind of the bummer of it. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't know if, you know, the color, if 02 is just not really the right color for me. Um, let me show you swatches of these. I tried to use the middle color, which is kind of like the ashier color. So I tried to use this one. Um, maybe that one probably would have just been too warm for me. I liked the brush um, and I like the consistency of it. Like this really was, felt nice on the brows, felt like it was a, a good product. It just wasn't like an ideal match for me which is strange because it looks like it would be. I don't know, but when I got it on my brows, this one looked too warm for my brows because um, I guess I just have very cool toned brows. So that's what they look like. So what I ended up using them for is on my eyes. I used um, this one in my crease and I used this one in my outer corner. So, and I liked it for that. It worked really well for that. And I think if, you know, the colors match your brows, I think you'll like it. Um, and I used it dry because I really wanted to kind of like test the color and see if the color would work for me before I was committed to using it wet. So cool product, um, just not like an ideal color in there for me. Next there is a highlight and contour palette in here. This is by IBY Beauty. It's a retail price of $40 and it says, sculpt, define, and illuminate your features with the highlight and contour palette. Chic and portable, this pro approved kit comes in six versatile shades. And then it kind of goes into an explanation of basically how to use it. Um, but if you've ever used a contour and highlight palette, this would kind of be the same sort of rules. So this is what it looks like. These are all matte, so there's not any shimmer in here, but these are so nice. These have a really nice texture to them. They're really soft and buttery. They blend really well. I'm super impressed with this palette. I like this a lot, a lot, a lot. Let me try to get it all swatched for you so you can see the colors. I'm just like so amazed by this formula. It almost feels like a powder and a cream together, but it's it's dry, like it's a dry formula, but it's a really creamy product, a really creamy powder. So there they are all swatched, really beautiful. I love this palette. I'm super impressed with it. Um, just really nice quality. This one does, well, now that I get these on my hand, it's so strange. They don't have shimmer in them, but they almost look like they have a little bit of a glow. But I feel like a lot of times that happens. Like I swatch something on my hand, I don't know if it's like, you know, I've got like a glowy looking hand and that's what's making it look that way. Cause when I've swatched it and used it on my face, it just seems matte. Let me look at it again. I think it's pretty much matte. It might have like a little bit of a satin sort of a sheen to it, probably just to make it look more natural on the face and not super duper matte. Um, 
but it's not shimmery. Then there is a brush in here. It comes with a little outside container to kind of keep it safe. So this is the Round Contour Brush by Crown Pro. It's retail price of $24.99. Says this super soft paddle brush can be used with any liquid powder or cream product for a full coverage application. So I use this to apply my contour today. I haven't quite figured out these brushes. This one feels like a nice one, um, like very soft, nicely um, packed, you know, bristles. So really nice quality. This always like, every time I've seen one of these brushes, I feel like I'm gonna break it. Like when I'm applying a liquid product, cause it just feels so flimsy here. Like it's not that it's bad. It's just kind of the construction of these brushes that they're all like that. They're all really skinny right up here. So I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna break it. So I didn't use this today with a liquid, but I've used a different um, brands for that in the past and it kind of felt that way. So anyway, I used it with the powder today and it kind of like moved my makeup underneath. So I haven't quite figured out the ideal use for one of these brushes. So let me know down below. If you love these brushes, what do you do with it? Like, how do you use it? And how do you not feel like you're gonna break it? I need your tips and tricks. So let me know that down below. Thank you. Then we have a glowy product. This is the Liquid Glow by Temp2. And it's retail price of $29.50. It says, in this limited edition collaboration with BoxyCharm, Temp2 introduces Liquid Glow, its first hand applied highlighter, formulated to deliver a radiantly luminous complexion or to illuminate all over. This long lasting formula is designed in a rose gold hue that flatters every skin tone and creates a natural lit from within glow. So I used it today and it was a lot more subtle than I was expecting. Like it's really pretty, but um, I was just expecting a little bit more glow to it. And mine kind of like leaks out a little bit, like it kind of must have some air in it. Really pretty color. I think this would be gorgeous mixed with foundation if you like that glowy look. Really, really a pretty shade, just more on the subtle side, which isn't a bad thing. It's just kind of what you're going for. If you're looking for more of that kind of subtle glow or something to mix with your foundation, I think you'd really like this. All right guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value and it is $143.49. So I think this was a really good box this month. I love that contour and highlight palette. I really like this glow product. I'm excited to try to figure out that brush a little bit. So I like this box. I think it's a good one this month. So if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I'd love to know what you got in your BoxyCharm and what you think about it. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.